Hi, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Basil and today I'm going to teach you two very simple but very effective techniques to get your ChatGPT prompting skills to the next level. For those of you who are new to the channel or have never used ChatGPT before, I have made a video where I explain how to set it up and how to start using it and I'll try to link it up somewhere above or I'll drop it in the description somewhere below. And for those of you who have used it before, you might have realized that the longer you get into a conversation, the more fine-tuned and the more precise the answers become to your specific needs. The two strategies that I'm going to teach you today are going to help you get to that level right from the very start of your conversation. Those two techniques are called role assigning and priming, and we're going to start off with the first one. In reality, it's quite simple. It's basically assigning a role to ChatGPT so it behaves in a certain way. So as an example, let's assume you've just moved into your new apartment and one of the first things you'll want to do is set it up to your needs, furnish it and make it your own little space. So who will you reach out to get some help furnishing your place? Well, most likely you'll want to talk to somebody who's got experience in the field and has a lot of tips and tricks to share with you about furnishing your house. If I were you, I would want to talk to a professional interior designer. And that's exactly what you can do with ChatGPT. You can specify the role that it's going to take and you can talk to it as a professional in that specific field. In this case, he's going to be a professional interior designer. Let's have a look at a real life example, shall we? In this scenario, I am going to be a tourist who wants to go to Paris for a three day trip and I'll ask ChatGPT to give me help with that. So I'm going to start a brand new conversation and I'm going to ask for exactly that. And the plan looks decent. I mean, it's taking us to the Eiffel Tower on the first day. It's taking us to the Arc de Triomphe. We're going to see the Louvre Museum and a couple of other famous places. However, let's assume that I've been to Paris before and I've seen all the standard attractions which Paris is famous for. So in that case, I would probably want to see a couple of the non-obvious places in Paris that only somebody who really knows the ins and outs of the city will be able to show me. So let's give ChatGPT the role of a Parisian who has really good knowledge of the city and can give us some non-obvious tips and tricks and advice about visiting the city. Let's see what he can tell us. And right off the bat, I can see that the trip that ChatGPT has given us this time is completely different. We don't see all the basics, but we see a couple of places which, having Googled them before, I know are quite beautiful and definitely, as he said, off the beaten track. And that is a very simple example of how we can adjust ChatGPT to your needs, where in the first scenario, we didn't really assign any role, so we had a very generic conversation and we got some very generic answers to our trip planning request. However, in the second case, we were kind of talking to somebody who's been living in Paris all their life and have some insights into what can be interesting to see there. Let's have a look at another example, which is a little bit more business oriented. So in this case, we have a business selling perfumes and we want to inform our customers that we have a new collection drop and that we're reducing the prices of our inventory in the next two weeks. And again, we have not assigned a role to ChatGPT and already we can see a bit of a red flag because the email is quite long and it is and it is really not personalized at all. I mean, it starts with, we hope this message finds you well, which is something you would probably hear in an email at work, but not from somebody trying to sell you products. All in all, it's a bit too formal. So we're going to try and use the same role assigning technique to fix this email. In this case, we're going to make ChatGPT a marketing expert and a copywriter to write a message which is exciting, fun and to the point. And let's see what we get this time. The message seems a lot more fun. It dropped all that formality that we saw in the previous version. It has a bit more of a funky vibe to it. Guess what? We've crunched some numbers, done a little magic dance and voila. Prices on some of your all-time favorite fragrances are dropping. Yep, you heard that right. Your wallet's going to be as happy as your nose. That's a lot better than it was before. However, it is still a little bit on the long side and somebody who's just browsing through their inbox might skip the email altogether and move forward. And that brings us to the second technique 
that I wanted to share with you and it is called Priming, which is a fancy name for giving ChatGPT a blueprint of how we expect it to behave. So we're going to tell it what kind of responses we're looking for and in our case they're going to be short, snappy, fun for the recipient, but still sounding professional. And let's see what it gives us this time. That is now way too short, so we'll still have to customize it a little bit to reach our goal. So we'll ask it to bid a little bit longer, and we're also gonna mention that we'll put some media into the message, such as photos, so that it can tell us where we should paste those. And now that we've asked for another version of that email that we've been fighting with for a while, it seems a lot shorter, it's still quite funky, not formal at all, but professional. And it tells us where to insert a price drop banner image and where to insert a collage of the new collection. Right, so that's kind of the result I was looking for. Of course, I'm not a marketing professional, so I'm sure if you are, you're gonna do a much better job at customizing ChatGPT to reach that goal. However, now that we have primed our conversation to be informal but professional, short and snappy, and ChatGPT knows that we are a marketing expert, we can now continue using this conversation to give us further communications that we'll send to our customers. So for this case, we're gonna ask ChatGPT to generate another email where we inform our customers that a certain brand of perfumes is no longer in our inventory, and if they've already purchased them, we won't be able to ship them, but they will get a gift card instead. And the email says, sadly, our beloved perfume name is taking a bow and won't be available anymore. But here's the silver lining. If you've already placed an order for perfume name or requested it, you'll be receiving a special gift card as a token of our appreciation. We're committed to keeping your fragrance journey unforgettable, so please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or need assistance. Alrighty then. So we have an example of a conversation where we are using both role assigning and priming both at the same time. However, we did do a bit of cheating because the priming should take effect in the very beginning of the conversation, whereas we kind of did it halfway through. So we are going to have a look at one last example where we're going to do the assignment and the priming as the first parts of the conversation and then we're going to have a conversation with ChatGPT as soon as it is prepared the way we intended it for it to be. So the scenario that I had in mind was of a high school or university student who's trying to learn physics for their exams and they need ChatGPT to take the form of a teacher who's going to conduct the lessons for you. In terms of priming, I did mention how I want to be taught. So I do want to see a lot of visual aids. I want to have analogies and examples and I want to be asked questions in the form of a simple test at the end of each lesson. And once I've written all that down, ChatGPT generates a first lesson on Newton's laws of motion as an example and we can see that we do get the visual aids, we get short little lessons and in the end we get uh, test questions that we can answer. Of course, based on how deep you want to get into the topics, you can mention that you need a bit more detail or less detail. However, for, for the purpose of this tutorial, I think it's good enough. And so let me ask for one more lesson, which is about thermodynamics. And we get a similar output and another test at the end. In your case, it doesn't have to be high school or university. It can be something that you want to learn at work or some materials that you want to brush up on. So you can ask ChatGPT to teach you those. And that's basically a simple example where I just wanted to show you how you can set up the conversation right from the very start. And that is basically it. As you can see, priming and role assignment are very simple techniques which can get your ChatGPT experience to the next level. As simple as they may appear, they're an extremely powerful tool when you start using ChatGPT for various different tasks. And in the next episode, I will show you exactly how the ChatGPT interface can leverage priming and role assignment to your benefit. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Adios.